All right guys, so this is kind of a, a quick video on just the, kind of the basics of getting a case started on the A8s. Um, here's kind of how this is gonna go. So in order to start a case, there is a start button down here in the corner. You can hit start case and it starts things. It'll automatically go to uh, oxygen at 10 liters. Um, an additional way of doing this uh, is really just to tap anywhere. That will also do the same thing or you can just manually turn this up uh, to the desired oxygen amount. Um, air is over here, obviously in this screen. There is an, uh, another, for your gas flows, another screen that can pull up. You can either hit the little hamburger menu up top or to be honest, just click anywhere else on this and it will pull up this other menu. Um, you can, from this menu, this is how you switch between air and nitrous as your other gas. That'll show up over here. Um, you cannot have both air and nitrous at the same time, uh, but honestly, I'm not that good at math, so I've never really needed to do that. There is another control mode that you can do that I particularly like called total flow. Total flow is where you adjust the FiO2 over here and so if I wanted a patient to run at 50% FiO2, I would dial that in. And then also over here on the total flow, um, didn't mean to click that, uh, you can also just set your flows for the case just like this, okay? So uh, if you're running a case with anesthesia gas, you will then have uh, more or less an optimizer that shows up here under your flows. This is a recommendation based on your tidal volumes, the leak in the system, and compliance and all these things to try to run you at the most efficient gas flows possible uh, while you're running an anesthetic. Um, I'm going to, uh, well, I'll just tell you about these buttons here. We can customize these buttons. Um, these are little quick buttons. So let's say um, I've got a patient that uh, I want to just start waking up from anesthesia. Instead of going and doing manual things, I can click 10 liters a minute, 100% FiO2, and it goes to that down here. I could also, if I just wanted to like run the case, just hit 0.5 liters a minute, and that will take my total flows down to 0.5 at 100% FiO2. Um, I'm gonna go back to direct flow because I feel like this is this this is the configuration most people are probably gonna use. Um, if I wanted to do, I don't see the utility a whole lot in one liter uh, with an FiO2 of 30%, but if you're big into nitrous or something like that, you can do that. Um, there's a lot of different options.